Hi guys, welcome to today's task. For today's task, I am going to show you how to remove trim and molding around doors and around the floor perimeter of your home. If you're gonna be changing it for maybe updating new trim, or if you're gonna be in plate installing hardwood floors and you need to adjust the height of your trim, I'm gonna show you how to do that using one tool. No, wait. Two tools. Oh, wait. Three tools. Four tools. I don't know how many tools you'll need, but these are really the essential ones. A knife and this particular trim puller. These are the two main tools that we're gonna be using today and I will link all of the tools I use in the description down below for you. Let's get started. Okay, there are a bunch of reasons that you may want to remove trim. Maybe you're gonna replace a door and you wanna replace the jam and the door at the same time, which I recommend always doing. If you replace a door, replace the jam with it. It's not that difficult. I'm gonna show you how to remove this so that it's still able to be installed once again. First trick is to cut along this line of all of the trim. Now, I'm gonna be getting rid of this trim. It's not staying, it's not going anywhere, but I still wanna make that cut line because if I just go and rip it off, sometimes it'll grab the paint and tear out the paint really abrasively with it. So I still recommend cutting every single time and cut both sides. I'm gonna work my way all around the room as well and cut that trim. This corner is gonna be a little difficult because I can't get the knife at a perfect angle into that. I'm gonna cut parallel with the trim and that should at least stop the paint from bonding to it so it won't tear out into that corner. This is the tool that I used to use for everything. It is my pry bar. I use it for everything, but it kind of has a tendency to break through the sheetrock when you're prying off trim. So I did find this tool. This is actually built to be a trim puller. It gives a little more body. You can see it's double the width. Because it's double the width, it has a less chance of popping all the way through the sheetrock, which you really don't want, especially if you're not gonna do anything to the sheetrock afterwards. You're just gonna replace the molding or update something. Um, you really wanna keep that sheetrock clean and good. Because this trim is already gone, I'm gonna start from this section because it'll be the easiest to get out and just work my way around the room. Put your tray and puller on top. And then just put it around. And look, even though that was cut, it still broke out a little bit. That's a risk you take, but we can still fix it. If you're gonna be putting this trim back, I really recommend that you delicately just pry along it and pull out. And it should pop. Now set this in a place where it won't get damaged because this is very fragile material and it breaks very easily. So put it in a safe place if you're going to reuse it. If you're not, throw it away. With your door trim, it's the same principle. Just get a section. Start it. Just work your way up. I, I like to get it back behind and tip up just a little bit. Whatever you do, you don't ever want to tip this way. You don't want to pry it this way because there's a chance you're going to pinch that sheetrock and break it. You want to just pry it up, parallel to the grain. There you go. And there may be some minor damages if you're gonna be putting this back on, but nothing, a little bit of sanding and paint won't fix. I wanna show a scenario that you most likely will run into if you don't have a good start-stop position in your room. We had a good start position over there and we can just work our way all along this wall. That might not be the case in your house and you have to start in a fixed corner like this. I'm gonna show you the exact way to do that. I'm gonna start by prying on that one in the very center. Thank you. 
Sometimes when you're hammering this tool down, you'll feel it hit a nail. Just come up and move over and start down a different spot. If you look, that board of trim is separated from the wall almost all the way down and it's ready to come out of that corner. I definitely want to open up that trim as well just to give this board as much flex as possible. Okay. Now if you look at that trim, it is all of the way bowed, just like a bow and arrow. And it is ready to slip right out of those corners. But most likely there's nails in both corners. So we're gonna be really delicate right here. And looking at this corner, you can actually see that the wood has slipped away from the wall, which is exactly what we have to do. There you go, it popped right out. So I'm pulling on this now, and that trim at that end obviously has a nail somewhere in it. So now I'll see if I can pry on that corner as well. And now that trim's out. And this trim is still in great condition. It does have a lot of coats of paint on it, but if you're gonna keep it, it's not that difficult to sand it, clean it up, and get it ready. Now, the big thing is to be getting these nails out. How do you wanna do that? We'll show you. So now you're ready to put this stuff back and you need to prep it. You need to get all of the nails out of the back of this. And these are actually pretty big nails. Um, these were hand put in, they weren't put in with a nail gun. So they're a little bit thicker. If you take a cat claw or any nail removal system that I've shown in a video of how to remove nails, I'll link that in the description as well. If you use any of those, you will damage the heck out of these. And you can pound on it and get it to pop out. But those are just nail holes you're gonna have to fill later on. So I'm gonna show you a trick I like to do when it comes to removing nails from trim. First, I take my hammer and put it on and bend it over once. It's gonna put a curve in the nail and that is what we need at first. Then you take your hammer and put it opposite, pinch on it, and now pry. And it pulls that nail all the way out. And you can't even see any damage on the other side. Now it's ready to go back on without even having to repair a hole. So once again, pry it, and then come back the opposite way all the way. Put the nail in between the claws again and pinch, and it'll pull. And it's a clean finish every single time. So nails pull really easily out of this stuff because it is real wood and it just functions a lot better. This is fiberboard and it's put on with brat nails. Uh, these are a pin style nail, and this is most likely what's in your house if it's a newer home. I want to remove those the same way because you'll never be able to dig at a brat nail and get it out from here, but I want to salvage this piece. And the trick with the hammer doesn't really work here either because they're a little bit too thin of a nail. They don't have enough body to them. Sometimes they'll go. That one actually went. But I'll show you another trick for those as well. For pin nails, you wanna pull them through the exact same way, but I like to use linemen. These are linemen pliers. They are a little bit more expensive, but they're a good sturdy set of pliers to have. Simply grab it, pinch, and rotate, and it pulls through. Once again, there's no marks on the back side. And just go along and remove all your nails so your trim's ready to go right back. It does put a little bit of damage on the back side of this, but nothing you can't kind of clean up just a little bit. But you should still be good to put this right back up, paint it, and sand it, and it's good to go. You guys, today's a simple video, but if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and if you wanna catch every video that we put out every time, click that notification bell right next to the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hi, guys, and welcome to today's task. No, but we gotta get it. And I'm gonna continue working my way all the way around. I'm gonna, these are the tools with your door trim. It's the same front with the door. And sometimes when you put this, so now you're ready to 